The Safe Schools Initiative was launched at the World Economic Forum in Abuja by a coalition of Nigerian business leaders working with the UN Special Envoy for Global Education, Gordon Brown. Eight years after the launch of the initiative, where over $20 million was raised, little has been done to push for the realization of the goals of the initiative, including a plan to raise $100 million. Many schools in Borno, Adamawa and Yobe states came under heavy attacks 10 years ago by insurgents, causing destruction of many schools and abduction of students in the region. The increase in the number of attacks during the period made the government come up with a safe school initiative. It is aimed at making schools safer for children in the troubled areas and ultimately reducing the number of out-of-school children in the country. Five years after the introduction, President Muhammad Buhari formally gazetted the initiative on December 31, 2019. However, three years down the line, not much has been achieved under the initiative. However, the federal government recently announced a new plan to develop a national policy for the financing of safe schools by the end of the third quarter of 2022. We at the Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Plan established a committee with members drawn from the relevant ministries, departments and agencies, including Federal Ministry of Education, the military and other security agencies. The committee has been working assiduously to collect inputs from re relevant MDAs and to develop a national plan for financing safe schools. At a recent meeting, some principals of schools affected by insecurity in the northeast region explain how the situation is affecting learning in the region. We have students that are far away that cannot drive or ride wrestling to the school and they are afraid of the road. So they have gone themselves, they stay at home. Especially the girls, we are fighting that we need get child education, but now the girls are at home. Recent data from UNICEF shows that between 2020 and 2021, 25 schools were attacked in northwest Nigeria, while 1,470 learners were abducted along with 24 school personnel working in the northwest alone. The report also reveals that 51 schools were also attacked in the northeast, with 64 schools targeted with suicide bombings. These attacks disrupted the education of more than 5 million children in the northeast and northwest. This is the time to stand up and be counted. This is the time when children who are trying to go to school every day are unable to, either because they've been kidnapped or it's unsafe, or as is the case now in FCT, the schools have been closed. The number of out-of-school children continues to rise in Nigeria as insecurity threatens the centers of learning across the country. Hopefully, when the funds for the initiative are made available next quarter, the issue may be resolved.